let's do some experiments with the Mobius strip. Okay, so I suppose the first thing is, what is a Mobius strip? Well, I'll make a model of one for you. This is the standard way you do it. You get a strip of paper, you give it half a twist, and then you identify the ends of the paper. Maybe with a little bit of blue tack. And there we have it, this Mobius strip. A very interesting surface in its own right. I highly recommend you make one for yourself. If you, for example, take a pen and start drawing on the Mobius strip, say here, and just keep drawing and keep drawing, you'll find that the pen ends up coming back to where it started from. Also, another fun exercise is to try cutting the Mobius strip down a line down the middle of this strip and see if you can guess what happens when you finish cutting. Anyway, we're not here to talk about such kind of trivial aspects of the Mobius strip. We want to investigate something new. Oh, by the way, just before I go on to it, um, this is just a model of the Mobius strip really. A nicer way to represent a Mobius strip is by was using one of these kind of two-dimensional diagrams which shows which parts of a surface are identified with what. The sort of technical way to think of it is something like this. It's a rectangle or a square so that the points along this side are identified with the points along this side but there's a twist. So point one up here gets stuck to point one down here. Point two down here gets stuck to point two here. Point three down here gets point, stuck to point three up here. And you're supposed to think of these kind of things happening for continuous of points. Anyway, so there's the question. How short can a Mobius strip be? and still be constructible in 3D space. Okay? Well, we might be get a little bit cheeky later and allow intersections. So we might allow surfaces to pass through each other. Um, I'll talk more about that later. But hopefully you should see that this is a really quite interesting problem. For example, we start here with this thing, it's 12 inches long, it's one inch wide. Can we make a shorter Mobius strip out of this? Yes, we can. How about if we just cut a quarter of it off? Well, okay, we still have a Mobius strip. That's all right. It's looking a little bit, a little bit smaller, a little bit more bended, but it's okay. Now we can kind of flatten this out a little bit, just to give us something a little bit more familiar. We just squash it out. You can see now that it has this kind of triangular form. Okay, so like I said, this was going to be cutting edge mathematics, so now I'm going to jump straight into discussing a problem which took some fairly decent mathematicians um, several years to solve. The question is, what is the shortest Mobius strip? Now this isn't normally the kind of problem which topologists think about, because it kind of has elements of Euclidean geometry in the fact that a Mobius strip is a space is an object in 3D space, but it also has elements of topology. And the winner of this competition will get this 3D printed Klein bottle with this metallic finish designed by Bath Sheba, the famous 3D printing 
mathematician. So, good luck. <laughs>